What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC, and as I continue wrapping up 2022, this video is going to be on my seven favorite login jotters from 2022. If you're not familiar with login jotter, it's a subscription for five dollars a month. They'll send you one three and a half by five and a half pocket notebook, and for eight fifty, they'll send you two, all unique designs. They don't repeat them ever, although sometimes they'll take inspiration from previous versions as you'll see in this list. They don't ever repeat and they don't sell them in any stores or anything like that. So the subscription is the only place you can get them at that kind of initial price point. Obviously they're available on the secondary, but a lot of times you're gonna be paying a little bit more for that. But let's dive in with number seven, which I believe this is called the bus. I'm not gonna open any of these to the first pages because I think at least one of them has some contact information in the first pages, but I will flip into the design. This one's called The Bus and it's March 2022. Really like this and both of them from this month were really, really strong and very similar. One had a truck with a rooftop tent. This one had the Volkswagen bus with the canoe on top. And so this one edged out just a little bit. I like the just design a little bit more and that's all it really came down to. One thing that I docked points on this one for is the back cover design. It's just a little bit plain for me. It has the log and jotter flip to carry and that's it. So a little bit plain, but overall a really, really solid month there and definitely one of my favorites. At number six, we have a recent one, which is if you watch my December 2022, this is one of the two. This is called Sticky Darts and December 2022. It's obviously Nerf inspired. They can obviously say Nerf because of, I'm sure, copyright issues, but really good design all around. Like the blue and the orange work really well together, obviously. And it has the target on the back, which I really liked. Really nice kind of log and jotter stick out of the pocket. And if you decide to carry it face up instead of flipping it, you have Be A Kid Again sticking out of your pocket, which is fun. And Another month where I considered the other notebook, although they weren't so similar, they both had targets on it. The other one was, I believe called Bros. It was a Super Mario Brothers inspired Nintendo, had the cool Log and Jotter logo that was inspired after that red Nintendo with the circle. And had considered that one, I ended up going with this one, but really strong designs on both of them. And both could have made the list, but this one just edged out a little bit for, I like the just busy design and the color palette on it a little bit better. And so at number five, we have Wick. And this is one I gotta be careful not to open to the front, but Wick, August, 2022. And most of these I think so far have been dot grid, but I do get blank as well. And so there was, the opposite this month was the barbecue one. Another one that could have been almost interchangeable. I like the color palette on that one a little bit better. Uh, this design looked really nice and it reminds me of one that they've done before. And the reason I actually chose this one was specifically because of the back with that striker. It just looks really, really good. And so it reminds me of Fahrenheit 451 has a special edition cover where it's a matchbox and the spine of the book is a striker. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I just really, really like it. And so this was number five for me. At number four, we have another recent one, and this is Typewriter. And so Typewriter was the second, I believe, notebook in that month. And yeah, this is the blank one, November 2022. It's got that kind of vintage cartoon style, Popeye or Steamboat Willie style cartoon illustration, which I really like. And I love the colorway on this, just the green and blue work really well together. And this one, he's kind of getting beat up, sitting in his corner between rounds. Got some small tattoos on there, and they're all classic designs. He's got the anchor and the sparrow. and the illustration continues onto the back cover. It's pretty subtle. There's not a lot going on, but it's still preferable to the bust, for example, where it's just blank with the logo. And so I think this one looks good. The only thing is that there's nothing really that sticks out of the pocket like some of them, and that's okay. That was true on this one as well. You have the striker that sticks out, but the logos aren't going to stick out of your pocket if you're carrying them in a, in a pocket. And so at number three, we have Ducks 2, and this was part of their... Notebook Madness, I believe it was April they did this. Yeah, Ducks 2, Runner Up, and April 2022. And so, really cool design. The only reason this one didn't rank higher, honestly, is because it's 
an homage to the first one, I guess. And so because I already had the first one and I actually have a couple copies of the first one because I bought some on the secondary. And so because I already had the first one and been using the first one, this one's not quite as exciting, but it's still a really, really cool design, really iconic design and just kind of hits that nostalgia factor for me. It also has the kind of dual logo. So you have the Nintendo login jotter at the top and the login jotter notebook madness at the bottom. So no matter which orientation you carried in, one of those is going to be sticking out of your pocket. So really like that about it. And again, really like that login jotter Nintendo logo that you would also saw on the December, but in a different notebook. So at number two was a repeat for the same month. This is the first repeat, everything else. I tried to stay away from repeats as much as possible, but I also didn't want to exclude them just because they're a repeat. And because this is a top seven after all, but when I could, if there were two super similar ones, I would choose my favorite and that was that. These ones actually, even though they're not from the same month, or they are from the same month, they're not super similar. And so this was the winner of the Notebook Madness. And it was called Next Season. I believe the original was called Season. I have that one as well. And I didn't show in the Ducks too, but there's some of the other kind of runner ups from the competition or competitors from the competition. And so this match one was the other one that I was referring to that's similar to Wick from an older one. Also would love to see a repeat of this VHS inspired one. Maybe not the exact same thing, but there was plenty of those sleeves or cases or whatever you want to call it, jackets for the VHSs that you can take some inspiration from. So would love to see a repeat of that one as well. But really like just the illustration on this one. It's got a uh, kind of black and white or black and light blue, I guess, d designed to it for the most part, but there are some pops of color with those autumn leaves and the waterfall and just looks really, really good overall. One thing I did dock points here again for, same as the bus, is it has just a really plain back and so not super exciting. You have just that log and jotter notebook madness sticking out of the pocket. Not a deal breaker, obviously, it still landed number two on my list, but I really love the front of this one. Back, kind of boring, but is what it is. And number one this year, might be obvious if you watched all the videos, and they are all on a playlist. This one was definitely one of my favorites when I saw it. And one of the things that happened with this one, actually, that I'll talk about really quickly, is it was pretty, not super damaged, actually, it was pretty minimal damage. and. There was glue on the envelope and it got stuck to the cover and ripped off a couple small pieces and not the biggest deal in the world, but Login Jotter reached out to me and replaced them. So I got a new one. This one obviously doesn't have the damage and I've been using the damaged one for my 2023 New Year's resolutions and just kind of bullet journaling in it and uh, getting a lot of use out of that one. And so really excited to have just a clean covered version and really thankful for them for sending that out. I didn't ask them to send it out. It wasn't a big deal to me in the sense that I felt like I needed a replacement. Obviously it's a bummer that it was damaged, but still wasn't kind of a big enough issue where I would have reached out to them. They saw the video and said, hey, let us send you a new one. And so really appreciative them of them for that and really great customer service on their part, which from my experience has always been great. Obviously haven't had to deal with them so much. I don't reach out over kind of smaller things, but they've been really, really great to work with. And so similar to the typewriter, this one has the pencil in the boxing gloves. It also has a tattoo with the number two on his chest with some wings. So that's a pretty cool looking design. I chose this one over typewriter a few spots over, mainly because it seems like he's winning. The typewriter seems like he's getting beat up. This one's more, I guess, uplifting. It just looks like he's, winning the rounds, we're late in the fight, and if it doesn't end in a knockout, he's gonna win the decision. And so, went with this one. I like the color palette a little bit better on this one, but just the art on the character itself is what I liked on this one. Similar to the typewriter, that continues on to the back, and so, not the most exciting back, but I'm appreciative that the illustration continues. And you got a little bit of a different logo. Again, not one that sticks out of your pocket, but something a little bit different. So those are my top seven. Obviously there were 24 to choose from. So I'm sure a lot of people who get the subscription had a very different top seven, especially if you're not super into like that nerdy nostalgic. I think four of the seven kind of landed in that, that area. Only two were really outdoorsy and one with just a striking illustration, I guess. And that one's a little bit different than all the rest, so I would categorize it a little bit differently. But I'm sure there's people that really appreciate the more simple designs or the more outdoorsy designs. There was national park ones and that sort of thing. And so definitely could be 
a lot of variants if you saw someone else's top sevens. But let me know what you would put in your top seven if there's any of these that you would take out or any that I didn't include that you would put in down in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And as always, I hope you have a great one. Take care.